right, what is going on, my friends? I am coming at you with some lovely Central Florida weather and a bit of a raspy throat post-COVID cough. <laughs> I apologize for the cough drop and the potential coughing or any sort of nastiness should be uh, relatively low. But to the more important topic here, I, I wish I had been recording on this last ride, but got a potential uh maybe gauntlet i don't want to throw that down too early without actually like seeing what's up but we're in lakeland in a little downtown area of lakeland uh specifically on lime street and all down here especially at that light up there fsd was acting weird man oh and also really narrow one-way brick road which you know the gears were turning after the weirdness so what what sparked my whole idea about Lime Street being a potential gauntlet candidate was that one of the issues that FSD has consistently had for me here in Florida, and it's an issue in California too, but I haven't had as many roads do this, which is a two lane road to the right lane being a turn lane only and the system not seeing it in time and getting over when you've got traffic. Um, torn between that being a staging problem on my data collection or a maps issue. Uh, I'm leaning more towards staging because it does in a lot of late cases try to get over But too little too late. So it doesn't know ahead of time to get in that lane that is going to go straight along the path Now we also have some flashing reds one that has a stop sign and it was here in this stretch of road right here at this light We're just now passing where we were sitting behind the person and the car kept doing like weird like phantom turning to like go around a person in front of us and of course I had to disengage. Uh, I did that twice. I turned it back on to see what would happen. And it started turning it again. And I was just like, all right, so no, we're not having that. And I just noticed the area we are where this lake is and such. And I was like, huh, maybe I can make this a fun gauntlet candidate and we'll see what happens. But I want to start at least past the two lane merge problem that is the initial in issue. And, and maybe like the gauntlet you know, 163 entrance, right turn spots. It can be that entry part of the gauntlet video, but we'll see. I'm gonna head down here a little ways and set it up in a way coming from the left. Or also, here's another one. Here it is. See, this becomes a turning lane. I have to get over it. So this is really common in Winter Haven, Haines City, Davenport, Lakeland area. So I got to mess with this to see. So we had come up here. So maybe we'll start at Midtown Dental. I'll see where that is. And then Lime Street will be our main traversal until we get to South Iowa. And then I'm gonna try to do some stuff around the lake and then maybe go through that one way and get out of here. I don't know. Potential for this to be a longer video. I think we are recording on both fronts, 85% on the forward cam, so it's good to go. I got the cam hooked up to the microphone that's showing green battery level plugged in for life support so that we can try to use this the whole time so i do apologize there'll be an annoying little cable there behind the camera but we're going to discover this sort of gauntlet together this is the spot right to take over we needed to be where that red tesla was and we weren't in that or sorry no the middle lane so it's a three lane all right but i want to start from the left here like where this scion's coming out i want to start from there and we'll see what we can create. So we're gonna, our entryway, our starting point will be over here to the left. We'll come to a stop somewhere where we can. We'll plan a route and try to execute it. Now, given the nature of this attempt, this is not gonna be a one address gauntlet like the OG Friars Challenge in San Diego. But still, uh, the OG Friars Challenge became gauntlet two with a down and back scenario. So, you know, it's not, you know, waypoints are a new thing. Man, I love this like tree cover, it's gorgeous. Okay, so cool, maybe this can be our starting point here in this parking lot to the left. And we'll just have to make sure we come out on the proper street. I think that might be a one way over there, which is cool. But we'll start on these brick roads. So we'll pull in here and park and try to figure out the whole gauntlet idea. And I might fast forward on that just to not waste any time with the video. Come on, Subi, I needed to be the guy that backs in, so hurry the hell up. All right, here we go. And that looks good. There we go. Okay, so we'll go 
up Missouri to Lime to test our merging ability from the two lane to the one. I don't know if it's in like within some living memory. It could be completely off my mark there. And then we're gonna go down by the lake towards the church. We'll cut it to make sure we hit that one way to the left down this narrow brick road. And then we'll cut that out to head down to our final destination, which takes us through downtown and up into Bonnet Springs Park. So here is the official first attempted gauntlet candidate. And we'll see if it is good enough to break the system beyond my own user errors, then we might revisit it. So fingers crossed everybody. Plus we have the ominous clouds around us, the uh, incoming storm or whatever might be heading our way. So I'm going to go ahead and engage this right here and we're going to see what happens. Double check cameras are on. <laughs> we're going to come out to the left on this brick road. <clears throat> Again, apologies for the coughing. Still getting over this crap. Boom, boom, boom. And we are in the uh, average setting, I believe. Let me check that real fast. Yeah, we're in average right now on 12.3.6 still on the 26.7 update. Okay, we're waiting for this guy to pass us to the left. We'll carry on. It almost looks like nightfall right now because of where we're at. Good acceleration through there. Hopefully we don't have any weird navigational changes. Now we're gonna turn right and be in the rightmost lane of two lanes that seem to be going forward here, but we gotta get over. Really lucky that we have the ability to with nobody here, but you can see how this can be a challenge if there's a lot of cars in this spot. So we got lucky on that first get. Now, in previous testing, without a stop sign nearby, the system has not been able to accurately handle flashing reds. I don't know how often these lights are flashing reds. If it's a consistent thing, then that is a consistent thing we can test as a gauntlet candidate. That is something to look out for when it comes to a gauntlet style test. It's something that you can benchmark and revisit and see the measured improvements or regressions over time, which is why I got so lucky with the Friars Challenge being such a wild gauntlet test that it was essentially never really beaten thoroughly. There was always something that came up and smacked it. Now, the original Friars Challenge, the original gauntlet, the one-way destination move, was basically beaten for the most part, except for the fact that that initial right and then the bank down to the 163 were still question marks, errors that would pop up and happen and kill the trip. So that gauntlet remains undefeated. I've had some offers from folks that have... 12.5 to run over there and try it out and I'm all for it guys go for it have a blast man it's great if you don't know the address spots to do it just DM me and I'll let you know okay so we do actually have a stop sign here on top of this flashing red and we now have the authority to go and we are and now it's important to realize with that stop sign we're not having the issue of it fighting itself as to uh, whether or not it should go with the flashing red so it's kind of a handicap so that's kind of unfortunate for, you know, the sake of a gauntlet, because if this is too easy, if FSD crushes this, then there's no reason to keep doing it. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, we're stuck. We're, st we're fucking up. All right. I got to push it just because I got a guy behind us. Okay, cool. I had to intervene there. Um, disengagement worthy level intervention because I had to move us on. All right. So now here comes the new stuff. This is where it was acting weird too. So I'm glad that this is part of it because if we get stopped behind cars, we'll want that. Here's a nice little lake view for everybody. And we're on the lake version or lake portion of this. Now I need to get ready to do my part to delete the Methodist Church waypoint. Okay, we are totally clear. Need to go. A little kind of rocking on the throw on the yoke, but not bad. Now I want to make sure I wait long enough that we don't just take an immediate left up here at some point. Okay, we're slowing down a little strangely. I'm gonna let us go a little bit further. All right, now hit done. Now hopefully I didn't just screw that up and we have good path planning to take our one-way road. It looks like we do. Okay, cool. So I could have waited a little bit longer to get around here. Yeah, this is so weird being, oh, nice object detection. Kind of slow down and make sure we we're to the right of that. We're so low to the water. I love this. It's interesting. Okay, so we're going to be shooting up in this spot. Now we need to wait for him. We need to wait for him or her, him. Yes. All right, now go. Okay, now this should be our narrow one-way, like, cobblestone road, which it is, which we're coming in way too far to the right. Oh, goodness. It corrected itself, but that was a little rough. Says speed limit through here is uh, 48 kilometers an hour, so we're cruising, we're cruising. 
Now, when we get up here, before we get to that stop sign, I need to delete the next point. This is a four-way stop, so we're good. All right, now for the final waypoint, carrying us on to Bonnet Springs Park in Lakeland. <laughs> it's not looking good, guys. It's for a gauntlet run, at least. This is, uh, what were our options there? Ooh, another run by a lake. Let's do that. That looks more complicated. FSD is waiting. Now it's choosing to go, which is perfect. All right, we got a series of stops, lights, flashing again. So I, or maybe this, this might be a different challenge video. This might not necessarily be the gauntlet, but this might be my flashing red test. We might have a flashing red test candidate here, if it's especially if it's consistent. I know I'm gonna have to visit this spot a few times to make sure that this is a normal thing on Iowa and uh, Lime Street. All right, we need to go and we're not, and we're going, we're stopping, I'm pushing us through to not irritate the person behind us. So yeah, uh, flashing reds are definitely still an issue in this spot too. We got lucky with that stop sign that it maybe didn't see the flashing red and just went. Looks like we got some pedestrian signs and street parked cars and several flashing reds all the way up until we make our left turn. So pretty cool. I, I don't feel like it's gauntlet material because nothing else is really stopping the system. Let's see. All right, we're going. Now we're stopping, stuttering, going, stopping, stuttering, going, stopping, going, finally. All right, I didn't have to hit the throttle there. Really kind of annoying behavior. I would have hit the throttle if somebody was behind us, but we were fortunate in that little spot. All right. Stop sign and stoplight flashing. What happens? It wanted to go from the stop sign. Now it's conflicting. All right. Now we're proceeding through. Okay. So it's weird. It's like forces its way through on some of them and on others, it just straight up stops and then they'll stutter and then stop. So Good spot to test flashing reds, for sure. And then we need to take a left at this flashing red, so let's see how this goes. And maybe I can just utilize other spots in this Lakeland area to create a gauntlet as I drive around here more and I see spots that really trip up the system because that's the whole point of a gauntlet is something that is so hard that it you just know like there's no way you're gonna do it. All right, I'm gonna push us through here because we got a car behind us and we're just kind of sitting. And I think now we are back on Missouri Avenue, which is where we entered the original spot. Okay, not a turning lane. I thought it was for a second, but that was a good correction. This is a 12 minute portion in and of itself heading to Bonnet Springs Park. We're kind of exploring here a little bit. All right, we need to, we need to go. There we are. All right. And we need to get over fast enough to be able to make a left at the light. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Yeah, FSD is performing a little too well for this to be a gauntlet run, but we do have an area so far that's a good flashlight test, so that's good. You know, little victories where you can get them. All right, let's see what we got. 800 meters, we got to take a right. A lot of the streets I've been on have been in this open and empty and well lit and defined, so it's been a bit of a breeze. Ah, I love being around so much water. All right, Hartzell Avenue. Round and up we go. So that seems pretty easy. Get this little lake here. More like a pond. More cobblestone. I forgot how prevalent this was in Florida. I saw it uh, again in Orlando when I was working over there a couple weeks back. 
was like, oh yeah, I forgot this is a thing. I guess not really cobblestone. This is brick. Whatever. None, uh... Non normal pavement. Abnormal pavement. Non traditional pavement. Whatever the hell you want to call it. Doesn't seem to have an issue recognizing the stop and the lane markings and such here. Or line. And except we're not really going. Let's go. We're clear. There we are. Got a little roundabout up here. All things that sound cool, you know, four gauntlet type stuff, except it's doing too good. All right, random person on an e-bike. How are we gonna yield to people to the left? Good, we slowed down. We should be yielding to this person as well. Good, good, good. And now we should go and you should wait. Good job. Cruise down into this creepy bridge. Make sure we choose the correct lane. And we'll skip through the red lights once we come to an actual stop up here. All right. Looks like we got a nice hard right followed by a left. Actually, it's a pretty standard right here. The mapping is actually wrong here. Interesting. Now we're off map. And now we should cruise up to the left. Down this road. And that's essentially the end of it. it just uh, kind of runs off up here. It's the end of our, our tour. Well... I don't think that's personally very gauntlet worthy. Again, it's cool. We got a good, you know, red light test, flashing reds test and such, which is cool. But yeah, we're going to have to do more, more hunting for a good gauntlet test. Now I've got a new destination inlaid. Take me about an hour to get home. And it, car's like stuck on an old phone call that is no longer coming through. But it still has this stupid notification up like, oh, hey, there's a call here. No, there's not. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video and my random little rant about notification there. Excited. We got a red light test and we'll keep our eyes open for challenging spots that actually present an issue for FSD because currently it's killing it. Uh, I hope to get the update soon as well and uh, get the content stream flowing again now that I am just about through with the last little bit of this COVID problem. Don't think I'm contagious anymore, just dealing with the leftover raspiness from the stupid cough that I had. But, you know, all that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next video.